So I'm just gonna start off with using Nude Face Veal as my foundation primer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my baby lips to moisturize my lips. Before I conceal my brows, I'm using this glue stick to make my brows feel tacky. This is totally safe to use on your eyebrows. They also come off really easily with makeup remover as well. Now I'm just using my ring fingers to blend that concealer in. So for my foundation, I'm using MAC Match Master. I love this foundation. It's so light but it gives you such good coverage. It's amazing. To set my foundation, I'm using this nice matte powder by AC. For the pink brows, I like to use my favorite lime cream lippies. I love using Centrifugia for my pink brows. It's such an amazing color. With an angle brush, I'm just outlining my brows. So you can see me filling out my brow, just starting from the outer corner. And you want to stop when you just pass mid halfway. Countess of Florissant is another favorite out of all my favorite lipsticks. And this is gonna go just the part that we needs to be filled out. You guys all know that I do pink brows all the time, right? Because I'm obsessed. So I've decided to do something different and you know ombre is such a big trend um, for years and years. So I picked up NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and this is just going to go just the beginning of my brows. And see, it just gives that really nice fade. Next, I'm applying glitters just on top of the white. And this is going to make it look like glitters fading out. As my eyeshadow primer, I'm using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, which I have just used on my brows. And I'm also taking it onto my waterline as well, which is going to make my eyes pop. I'm just using my ring finger just to blend it in. And I'm also avoiding the blending too much just for the bottom of my lip because I still want to keep the white looking vibrant. Now I'm taking this creamy white color eyeshadow from my Stella palette and this is going to go on to do all of the parts where I applied my primer on. Here I am taking this chocolatey brown from my Stella palette and I'm gently creating that crease line which kind of makes it look like an anime girl. So I decided to use this hot pink eyeshadow by Chakot and using a blending brush, I'm applying it onto the outer corner of my eyelid. And then gently I'm bringing it down to my bottom eyelid as well. I'm taking this dark purple from Majolica Majolica. This is going to go on top of my crease line which is going to make the pink and the brown blend a little bit more better. And then I'm taking this baby pink which is going to give that nice fade. Taking my NYX 5 color shadow, the Caribbean collection, I'm using this bright green eyeshadow right over here. And sorry, I wasn't clearly showing you guys where I was applying onto, but this is just going to go onto my tear duct. Here I am just cleaning out the crease line using my flat brush and also the creamy eyeshadow that I was using before. And then now I'm just doing my usual winged eyeliner using my Kate gel eyeliner and it's been my favorite like forever. And you can see me bringing it down which is going to give that more of like cartoon look.
Using that dark eyeshadow from Majolica Majorca, I'm just going to blend that bottom eyeliner. I'm just going to give that more of a soft look. So for my lashes, I picked up this uh, nice dolly looking ones. I got all of my lashes so that I'm using in this video from Ipondo, which is located in Auckland City if you live in New Zealand. They sell so many amazing lashes and they're really affordable too. Like each of these costed me like $17. And I'm using my favorite mascara, Fairy Drops, just to blend my false lashes and my real lashes together. As usual, I'm using Harmony by MAC as my contouring blush. For my highlight, I'm using Cream Beige by Candy Doll. And I definitely need to get a new one because you can see that I have used so much and it's totally running out. It's just so hard to get the product out of the pan. For my blush, I'm using this beautiful coral blush by Majolica Majorca. And as usual, before I apply my lipstick, I always like to erase my lip color using the Lip Raise by MAC. Cosmo Pop is absolutely my favorite at the moment. It's such a beautiful baby orange. It's perfect for spring or summer. So girls, we're nearly there. To spice up the look a little bit more, I am using this bit of um, jewels that which I got from Look Sharp for like $2. And I've decided to go for this little heart and the star, which kind of like reminds me of my little pony. So here's the finished look for the makeup. And let's get it started with hair. things first, I'm just sectioning my hair using my clips. Using Extra Strong Mousse by Label M, I'm applying onto my ends which is going to give a nice hold to the curls. So on to the next step, I'm using a cushion brush and I'm just starting to dry my hair using a hair dryer. And this is going to help me spread the product nice and evenly onto my ends. Using my favorite irons by GHD, I'm going to start curling my hair. For this look, I'm going to be curling my curls all going to the same direction. And once we have done all the curls, we're going to be brushing it out using a cushion brush, which is going to give that beautiful brush out look. And you can stop at this point if you like the way your hair is looking. But since I'm doing a My Little Pony tutorial, I've decided to do a little bit more with my hair, which is to add glitters onto my hair. The glitters are from Look Sharp, and using hairspray by Label M, the strong hold hairspray will give a very good hold for the glitters to stay on. Lastly, put your unicorn horn on, and you're ready to go! I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya. Thank you for watching.